Have you ever wondered what games you should keep or you should lose? Find out here at Purdue's. Have you ever wondered what games you should sell or you should use? Find out here at Purdue's. Find out on our top 10 list what games you cannot miss. Don't forget to subscribe to Purdue's. Sticks, not to be confused with bed knobs and broomsticks. Uh, obviously, that's the joke they're going for here. This game is a complete joke, a complete parody. There is nothing to be taken seriously about this game, and I am amazed, amazed that Mayfair put this game out. I don't know what they were going for. This is almost something you would put out at the Spencer's to get a few laughs. But they put it out as if it's a legitimate board game, albeit the components are from five or ten years ago. This is Sausage Party, the movie. If you're not familiar with it, Google it. I haven't seen it. I don't have any desire to see it. But it's a Seth Rogen movie that they put out. Uh, an animation that, from the previews, the trailers, it looks completely dirty. And it's attractive to children, but it's dirty. They can't see it. It's just the whole thing that goes on. Bed Pants and Broomsticks is kind of the same thing. It's put out by a board game company, Mayfair. They're, they're big, although I'm not a big fan of the company. Uh, not, nothing against anybody that works there, just the components and the games they put out. I'm not a huge fan. Um, I don't know anybody that works there. Um, a game that gamers are going to be offended by. Now, I've never seen a more... I, I'm a gamer. I'm included. I've never seen a more self-righteous group, right? Um, they get mad when slavery is historically in a game. Or, uh, what was the game? Five Tribes had slavery, and people get all up in arms about that. Um, you know, it's just very... I don't know, preposterous to me. Then they decided to put a game out making fun of mental health in the elderly. Okay. Newsflash, it didn't go over well. On top of it, you put in probably the most hated, disliked mechanic in a game. Not an auction. Roll and move. Because gamers don't like Monopoly because everybody likes... Scratch that. Everybody knows Monopoly and buys Monopoly, which drives us crazy why you don't play a better game. The main mechanic... Okay, not auction is roll and move. Monopoly is defined by its roll and move. You ask a man to play Monopoly, they will say you roll the dice and you move the pawn, right? They won't say auction. This is a roll and move game. Now there's a little bit with a decoy and there's some take that and the stuff, they call stuff, uh, I know, wonderfully named. With these tiles that you play, just make it kind of a take that. At the end of the day, it's just a roll and move. and. They want you to move slow. You roll three dice, you pick the two smaller ones. And they want you to move slow. I don't want to move slow. The game is centered around the humor. If you find that dementia is funny in the elderly, you'll think this is funny. I happen to th can laugh at anything. You can make fun of any disease or any person, any race, any job. I don't assume that you have bad intentions. It's a joke. If I go to a comedy show, I can laugh at nearly anything. I, I just love comedy. I think I just love being able to make fun of things in the world. It doesn't bother me. I, I live by a philosophy that um, you don't give offense, you take offense. It's a choice that we make. Um, even having people in my family have had dementia, um, I'm not offended by it, but I can truly, truly understand why people would be. With that said, it's a parody. They're going for the joke. Um, whether they accomplish the joke or not. I feel like the joke is almost funnier if it's in a better game. Um, when, you, when you put a joke that may be tired and a joke that may not be funny to a lot of people in a really bad game, uh, you're not doing yourself any favors or anybody any favors. If you want your joke to be known, and if you're going to tell a malicious joke, 
you want to put in a good game so they have that edge of like, do I stand up for my principles, silly or not, or do I play the game because it's so good, right? Um, maybe a game can't be great without a coherent theme, but um, this is one unequivocally I can tell you to skip. Purge. Never talk about, never see again, and it has absolutely nothing to do with the humor. The game is terrible. Terrible, 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 terrible. So bad, I don't even think I can find a designer on this game box. When's the last time you saw a, uh, Alan Smithy, for those of you that get that reference, may have designed this. There's not a design. The art is on here, Jacob Chabot and Jared Blando. I don't see a designer. Is that a thing? I don't know. Oh, never mind. Friedrich Moyerson. Sorry, buddy. I didn't know you were on there when I brought all this up. Um, it's on the back. It's not on the front. Oh, it is on the front. What do you know? I screwed up. Not the first time. Not going to be the last time. Bed pans and broomsticks. You better skip, purge, never play. You have been warned. Pans and Broomsticks, which is going to be a take on mental illness in um, older people. That's the humor in this game. That doesn't offend me. Things don't offend me very easily, but I understand this has offended some people. You got a hot nurse ratchet type on the front and a crazy old man with what usually would be ammo is medicine and a mop and a toilet bowl. That's what you're going to get with this game, but... Um, this is made by, uh, I guess it's called Mayfair Games. I don't particularly think they make very good components. Um, they're always sufficient, if you will, but not fantastic in my book. So, you're going to come with what they call stuff in this game. Yes, it's literally called stuff. Um, lost teeth, one elder and decoy must move two spaces closest to the bed. So I guess he lost his teeth. That's the humor they're going for here. So you got a service store. Okay, so that's not a stuff. Let's see what else we got here. You got a just clean sign. Place on unoccupied space to remove a puddle. I bet you that puddle is urine. Um, my plants. Each elder and decoy must be one step. So these are really nice cardboard. You can see the artwork is okay. Very wordy stuff here. Uh, okay, and you're gonna get a bunch of cardboard stuff here. Uh, here's a puddle that you'd have to clean up. It's yellow. What do you think that is? Uh, probably urine. Uh, you're gonna get these are your characters. You'll be moving around the elderly people. You get these little cardboard things. They're not minis. They're cardboard with you know humorous art. I like it. And you're gonna always have a decoy and a real one. You see the one with. I don't know which one it is, but one of these real ones, let's just say the one with the black is the real one, and you'll have the ones that aren't, that are blank. Um, this comes with actually a lot of extra ones. You can see here you could play with squares if you wanted to instead of circles, I suppose. And here are the nurses and doctors. Nurses are women. Doctors are men. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, and you also get some dice that you're going to be rolling, so roll and move, and these things. These dreaded things that always destroy everything that I have. Um, I don't know how you get these on here. I don't know. Good luck to you. Uh, but I find that most of these games are very hard to get on. So you get a lot of cardboard shits here. You are going to get a rule book that is a mess and not easy to follow. I mean, look at this. It's just a mess. One of the worst rule books for such a simple game. Uh, I still don't know how to use the um, elevators properly, probably. And uh, then here's the variation you can put. We can have individual powers for your elders. And so here's what you're looking at. For You, you have your character sheet or whatever. It's, it's nice cardboard. Here's Alex and Selma. Let's split up. I'm so out of here. Without a mission, you go soft. And so there's a variant turn section. There's two games. One we give individual powers. Um, maybe it's helpful. And the board is modular, so it kind of looks like this with things that you'll come up on it. Um, they're only one-sided. Some exit signs. 
and you'll have these set up to play. That's pretty much the game. Uh, what the components look like. The components are actually pretty nice as long as you like this cardboard look and you're not looking for miniatures. It looks like it's a little outdated, maybe 10, 15 years outdated to me. Um, but some people appreciate this sort of thing. So that's the components. The rules are a complete mess. This is such a simple game, so simple. Turn to the back page and just follow it. Nothing else matters. I don't know that I ever truly comprehended how to put the elevators out, how to move the tiles and what went where and how it all worked. I didn't care enough. The game is terrible. Um, but the rules are a mess. I mean, it's a mess. You cannot, if you can comprehend these rules, you are smarter than me. Fantastic. You don't have to rub my nose in it. You're a better man or woman or child or gnome or whatever you are. You're better than me and smarter than me because... I don't feel like there was enough information in the rules to fully comprehend and play this game. And this is a roll and move. It's a take that game. This is Munchkin with roll and move. Are you serious? How do you screw that rule book up? I get it. I'm, I'm really angry about this. I got to go. This game is so terribly horrific that I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time teaching you how to play it. Because I don't think that you'll actually want to play it very much. Um, so I'm going to go through it and try to explain it the best I can. So when the game starts, you're going to be on these beds. And you're going to always have one that's a decoy and one that's not. We're going to say, for argument's sake, the black one with a dot is the real one. And let's say they start out on this. Uh, if you have any stuff markers, if it's your turn, you can play them. These are just take that chits tiles that will screw people over and do different things uh new shift you may place one or two nerds at each niche station on the next room tile uh, power chair move one elder and decoy two spaces in any direction so they'll just screw around with the game here's a bananas peel isn't that funny one staffer or one elder and his or her decoy moves one space less this turn you, know, you could screw somebody over i suppose uh, then what you'll do is you'll roll all three dice. This is a roll and move. And if you're the elder or decoy, you choose one and you move them to some of the two lower dice. In this case, five. So I can move either one of these and the squares on the board. One, two, three. Well, you can only move through doors. So four, five. If you get to the end, you would pull one out and you would just... There's rules for making it fit. But the squares don't have to be, just the doorways have to be there. Then after you move your elder or your decoy, uh, you roll again, and now you move the other one. And guess what? The sum of the two lower dice. In this case, three. This guy can only move three. One, two, three. Maybe he's going to go a different way. What you're trying to do is get out of here. And there, there'll, there'll be these tiles with these symbols on it. And you get enough of these, things happen, and eventually the exit will come out of. So you really just want to run around and explore if you're these guys as much as, power, as possible. Now... On the staff turn, what they're going to be doing is they can, at the beginning of the turn, they can play any stuff markers they have, just like the elders. Then they'll roll three dice. And I can get these guys in here very well, but they'll move their people to some of the two lower. So one, two, you know, and if you land on them, you need like more than one staffer to be there. So in order to check and see if it's a decoy or the real person. And you want to capture those people. So what you'll do is you'll continue. If you don't reach anybody, you'll just keep rolling three dice for each of your staff members that are out. And they don't start out on the board. You have to kind of, as the tiles come out, they come out more and more. And by playing stuff. So you're trying to get them two or more to check this out. If it's a real person, then you capture them. If it's a decoy, then they can pick the decoy up and bring it back with that and kind of move it around. Uh, there's not a whole lot to the game. It's really a roll and move of hide and seek or tag. But you, as the staff members, you need more than one person. So dreadfully boring and so luck and so take that. That is the gist of the game. You're going to roll these dice, take the sum of the two bottom ones, play some screw you tiles, and hopefully if you're the elders, you, you get out. And if you're the staffers, you 
get enough of them to you catch enough of them to win the game because you know those old fogies are running around. That's bed pans and broomsticks. This game, absolutely nobody. Not you. Not you. Not you. Not you. In the back. In the back. Not you. Don't play this. Don't play this.